But there are people whose sex and gender are not the same. As a first hypothesis, scientists thought there might be a male brain, shown here, and a female brain. Voila. So perhaps a person could have a male brain in a female body and a female brain in a male body, or the other way around. But there are people who identify as both genders, or neither gender, or a combination of the two. And it turns out you can't identify the gender of a brain just by looking at it. <laughs> gender is like sex. It's on a spectrum. Now, I know when you started this up. <laughs> now, I know when you started this episode, this probably wasn't what you were expecting. You want to hear Bill Nye talk about sexual intercourse. <laughs> About, about coitus, <laughs> about doing it. <laughs> we scientists call the Netflix and chill aspect of sexuality <laughs> attraction. Netflix and chill wouldn't fit. <laughs> and guess what? It turns out whom you are attracted to is also on a spectrum. Some people are heterosexual or straight. They're attracted to people of the opposite sex. Other people are homosexual or gay. They're attracted to people of the same sex. But there are also bisexual people uh, who are attracted to two or more sexes, and asexual people who aren't attracted to any sex. Pansexual people are attracted to individuals regardless of their sex or gender. There are so many different possibilities. Even the current definitions don't fully capture the whole picture. Science is a process. But wait, there's more. Just one more. <laughs> Just one more. We call it expression, or how you present yourself to the world. In a lot of places, like the US, many women wear makeup, and men usually don't. Although, I have quite a bit on right now. <laughs> how about you, Derek? It's Just you, Bill. Here. <laughs> Here in the US, makeup is considered feminine as opposed to blue jeans, which used to be masculine, but now everyone wears them. Expression and style are cultural, and they change with time. We sent this man all the way to Seoul to see how K-pop is changing attitudes. You certainly did, Bill. Did you have a good time? I, I had an amazing time, as I would love to show you, if we could uh, roll the clip. Woo! 